Cat is Max on his hair. This time with a review of the Panasonic BQ830 uh, multi channel nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium battery charger. I was going to do a big review and comparison of battery chargers, uh, but it was just going to be too long to spend enough time to talk about the kind of how each unit works. But all the reviews of the battery chargers I'm going to do are generally going to be ones that I would own. There are ones that I own. There's a lot of really junky battery chargers out there. So a big deal is multi-channel, which means that all the batteries or these chargers, each cell, each position that you can put a battery, acts like a separate charger. So you can charge one battery, you can charge three batteries, you can charge two double A's and one triple A, or vice versa. So the modern battery chargers, you don't have to worry about if a battery's half full and one's totally full. They don't run in series. Each one, each bay, each position in these chargers is like a separate charger. Also modern batteries like the Antelopes here, uh, these stay charged for months and months, six months, you know, at like 80% of their charge. So they're actually uh, much more competitive than they ever used to be. Rechargeable batteries really are worth it and will save you the money. Particularly if you actually are going through a lot of batteries. If you have a high power flashlight that you're using all the time, um, then these batteries really will pay for themselves. Nickel metal hydride actually delivers energy very well. Uh, dirty secret of alkaline is under high drain devices. They don't actually deliver their full potential capacity. They're kind of like lead acid. They sacrifice capacity to deliver energy quickly. That isn't an issue with a, a nickel metal hydride. This 2000 milliamp hour or two amp hour battery uh, maybe a lot smaller, really premium AA alkaline could be 3 or 3.5 amp hours. But if you're driving an electric motor or a high power flashlight, you might be surprised on how close the run times are, even with a battery that is advertised to have a much lower overall capacity, doesn't sacrifice or lose any of that capacity just because you're draining it fast. Anyway, to get enough detail about the chargers, I kind of want to do two quick individual videos. This Panasonic's pretty interesting. There are modern chargers like this Panasonic. So this, you can actually use a USB extension cable, plug it into your computer, and then plug this charger into it. Although it will only slow charge. All these chargers, you can uh, get their specifications and they'll usually tell you um, their actual output rates. Like right here, if we're running two AA batteries, it'll give it 1600, 1.6 amps per battery. So that could cause a lot of heating. And generally speaking, you want to put battery chargers in a pretty safe location. You don't want them sitting on the carpet. Inevitably, uh, somebody's going to have a problem with any battery charger because the battery's in a certain condition. It's already hot. For some reason, it was lifted up off like on this charger. They have these little metal pads. So it can, those are actually heat sensors. So it can detect if for some reason the battery isn't responding correctly and the charger didn't detect the cutoff point that if the battery really starts to overheat, then it'll stop charging, thus trying to prevent a fire. But inevitably, you'll be able to find a review of some kind of smoky battery or caught on fire battery charger. So generally speaking, you know, put them on a ceramic dish or, you know, on some kind of surface, which is a little bit less flammable. I like this Panasonic because it does kind of offer the additional versatility of being able to use it with a USB power brick instead of its normal power brick, which is just fine, although Panasonic uses a very small adapter, which is kind of proprietary. This is more premium because it has an LCD display, which is kind of nice, so it tells you the status of charge of each of the batteries. Oh, and continuing on the back here, we have, if it's doing four AA batteries, then it'll charge at 800 milliamps, and they're always referencing per bay. So these things really are pretty nice. You know, if we just take them, even with some old batteries, you can just drop them in here, and this is what's kind of nice, is we can just charge one cell, and we'll see it's doing one cell, and what this particular Panasonic has is little displays for each of the cells that you're using. And it'll just use one on the right and one on the left if you're just using the AA mode, which is kind of odd about this charger. Most of these will have special springs, so you can put a AAA or a AA in each of the uh, bays. On this one, they use like special bays for triple A's. So you can only charge two triple A's at once or four double A's, which is kind of a little bit weird. It does tell you it has a little thing there. It's actually a really deeply inset screen. It's not backlit. 
So it's kind of hard to see there, but it says fast. If you have it plugged into USB, then it'll say slow. So it's actually, these little uh, LCD display ones are pretty nice in that aspect. This Panasonic is weird because the display will just pause for a second. I think it's pausing, testing the voltage of the battery, and then going back to charging again. But as they charge up, just like on a cell phone, those little blocks will eventually fill up until they uh, uh, stop blinking and you know the batteries are charged. So I kind of like this little Panasonic. You know, it's like five or ten bucks online. I still found one, or I should say I was still able to find these online, and I think it's actually a pretty nice charger, uh, particularly because of the LCD display, it being a true four-channel charger, and even having the extra option of a USB. And when charging two batteries, it puts out a huge amount of power. It really does. I mean, that is a super quick charge, 1.6 amps. Even at 800 milliamps, that's a bit slower. That would take about three hours to fill up one of these modern uh, batteries. And that's kind of the deal is if they, and I'll do some reviews of one hour chargers, but these batteries do get pretty hot when you pound them, you know, in just an hour, you try to fully charge them up. I always seem to have a lot better luck when I'm doing it like this, where, you know, if these are two amp hour batteries, it's going to take two and a half hours, three hours for them to all charge up, but they're just not going to generate quite as much heat and it always seems to be a little bit more cooperative and you get a little bit more life out of the rechargeables when you're not burning them up trying to quick charge them. Or I should say super fast, super quick charge them. Same thing goes with your cell phone. If you have an Android cell phone, you can go into the power management options and under battery, you can disable quick charging and you'll actually get batteries that last a lot longer. Anyway, I just wanted to bring a review of a nice little battery charger. So, and the fact that since modern battery, uh, rechargeable batteries are much different than the old ones. Those pre-charged ones in the Enel loops really are um, in any style like this, you know, the Anna loops or the nickel metal hydride are great. And what's another nice thing is if you have super high drain devices, there are some applications for nickel or for NICAD, nickel cadmium, and they still make them. They're about half the capacity of a nickel metal hydride battery. But these are the ones that can really take being charged super fast and immediately being discharged and just hammered over and over. And of course, chargers like this and the others that I'll review are going to be compatible which is always a nice thing. So you can buy one of these chargers and use it with whatever batteries you have and then buy really premium batteries. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. I'll try to keep it less wordy in future battery charger reviews. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.